Hi, my name is Steve Menser, Vice President of Sales and Marketing here at Acronix. I'm excited to share with you a demonstration of our new high-performance 7 nanometer Speedster 7T FPGAs running 400 gigabit Ethernet traffic. Speedster 7T FPGAs offer a revolutionary new architecture that Acronix developed to address the highest performance data acceleration challenges. These devices have high-speed I.O. interfaces, including 112 gigabits per second CERTES, 400 gigabit Ethernet, and PCI Express Gen 5. They also include GDDR6 memory interfaces capable of supporting 4 terabits per second of external memory bandwidth and DDR4 operating at 3200 megabits per second. In the core of the Speedster 7T FPGAs, there are Chronix proprietary machine learning processors, or MLPs, which perform high speed math functions and support a wide range of numeric formats, including floating point, integer, and block floating point. Finally, to tie all of these together, Acronix developed the FPGA industry's first two-dimensional network on chip, which routes data from any of the high-speed interfaces to the core fabric within the FPGA at two gigahertz without consuming any of the FPGA logic resources. Now let me turn it over to Katie Purcell, an Applications Engineering Manager here at Acronix, who will walk you through the demonstration. Hey Steve. Hi, I'm Katie Purcell. Welcome to our lab where we're working on Bring Up, validation and characterization of the Speedster 7T FPGA. Let's go inside and check out the demo. For this demo, we are showing 8x50 gig interfaces running on our vector path accelerator card. In the Ethernet subsystem, this becomes a single 400 gig stream. The unique part of the solution is the 2D network on chip or NOC in Ethernet packet mode, which subdivides the 400 gig stream into four separate streams, which are then processed independently. Being able to process these streams independently makes the design simpler and easier to close timing on. In this demo, we will connect a QSF PDD loopback connector to the vector path card to show traffic coming in and out of the Ethernet port. But first, let's take a dive into some of the details to see what's going on inside the FPGA in this demo. There are four packet generators creating packets of random data. Each generator is connected to a 2D NOC access point, or NAP, which sends the packets up the 2D NOC to the Ethernet subsystem. This subsystem combines the four streams to one 400 gig stream and transmits out of the CERTES. The signals are then looped back via the QSFP DD connector into the Ethernet subsystem. The Ethernet subsystem splits the 400 gig stream into four different streams, which are received at the same four NAPs mentioned before. In the fabric, there are four packet checkers connected to these four NAPs to validate the data. To get started, let's first download the programming bitstream onto the FPGA. Next, we'll pull the CERTES status. Here you'll see the CERTES CDR lock status is zero, which indicates there is no Ethernet linkup. This is because there is no module plugged in to the QSF PDD connector on the board. Let's do that now. Now that we have all eight lanes of 50 gig Ethernet traffic looped back, let's run receive auto adaptation across the lanes. The receive auto adaptation engine performs equalization on the incoming signal at the CERTES receiver to achieve best channel and bit error rate performance. Polling the CERTES status now shows that CDR lock has been achieved and subsequently, 400 gig MAC and PCS status show no faults. We have PCS linkup. Next, we'll initiate transmission of 4 million packets on the 400 gig stream. Let's check the MAC statistics and packet checker counter. As you can see, the MAC statistics match and the total transmitted packets match the total received packets in the fabric packet monitor and checker. We have now successfully demonstrated the Speedster 7T1500 400 gig ethernet functionality running in eight by 50 gig mode. Thanks 
for joining me in the lab today. Now let's turn it back to Steve. Thanks, Katie. That was a great demonstration of the Speedster 70 FPGA device. If you would like to learn more about Speedster 70 FPGAs and set up a meeting with a technical representative, please contact the Chronics today. Thanks for watching.